Thomas, you had a particular scene with uh, Brian Chapman's character in sort of dream sequence. So the question is, you know, did you do a chemistry read for that particular scene or did the cameras just keep rolling? There's not supposed to be anything fun in there. And we were talking about the director, Neil Sharma, Bryn and I, and I just said it as a joke, I'm like, oh, and then we kiss. He was like, okay, sure. And he's like, I'm not gonna tell any of the crew what's, go what's gonna happen. And so we very quickly had an intimacy meeting between the three of us and we all went, yeah, we're all good with it and that kind of thing. And then we had it as a bit of a surprise for the crew on the show. But I was watching. <laughs> <laughs> I heard about it. And then I watched it. And it was, I was like, funny because oh. it was like, cut. And then the whole crew were just like, what? <laughs> so for you guys growing up, what was your like TV version of Heartbreak? I like, would you like grow up obsessed with Weirdly, skins? Yeah, skins. I'm like One Tree Hill. Oh, oh true. really into One Tree Hill. Friday Night Lights. I love that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, on a, kind of not really. I remember like skins was really skins big. Was, yeah. Skins was huge when I was in high school, and I think that was like that was the one. Um, but it was always kind of lacking like that Australian high school mm. show. Nice car, Centrelink. Um, and I think, yeah, the lack of that or the absence of that, like, disappointed me. Because apart from that, like, I never really felt a show like I could really relate to. So, Shirley and Brody, um, after being in Sydney for a while, what do you think Sydney does better than, from example, Perth or Brisbane or even the US even? And what, what they can take from those places to make it better? Mm. Touching on, with, on like, to public transport with your card. Oh, like, just being, because in Melbourne you still can't do that, you have to have my keys. Yeah, I do oh, love that. True. Yeah. But so, I love Sydney. I think, like, Sydney has, like, such a cool nightlife and, like, a little more normal. But I do love Perth as well. Connections, love, connections, nightclub. Yeah. yeah. They love their indie rock. Yeah. And Will, in the show you play in Eshe. So I just wanted to ask you, like, how did it feel to be sort of like a Thomas Shelby character from Peaky Blinders with your little <laughs> haircut? Yeah. Because that was, how was that, like, the whole haircut thing like? Oh, the haircut was great. I actually, I, I really, really loved it. Pulls um, it off too. Thank you, mate. Yeah, 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 mum wasn't too happy with it, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, no, I love playing Cash, and I had so much fun, and I loved everything about him, the hair, the costume, like, it's sort of wonderful as an actor when you do get to kind of like transform into another person and particularly when they, yeah, they do something different with your look. Like I'm obviously rocking the, the buzz cut right now, mm. but um, you know, I think hopefully if we, if we get to go again, you know, nothing confirmed, I would love to really put in the time and grow out a proper mullet because last time we didn't get much notice before mm. we started shooting. Whereas now I know I'm gonna come in prepared. I don't know. Oh my go to go -to song. Oh man. Also, the thought of me going to a club probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, not I'm an really, old man. I stay home. home. <laughs> to get into the mood for a club, I'm probably listening to like Frank Ocean or like Kid Cudi. Yeah. yeah. And I'll be there. Nikes to start oh. the night. Uh, yeah, that's a good one to if start I'm, for me. I need to ease into it. If I'm going Frank on the way to the club, I'm, I'm going Pyramids. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. like that's oh. pretty like good, good banger. Like and you know like builds up. Builds up. Yeah. Right now it's an ang it's an album. It's Renaissance mm. by Beyonce. Oh, nice. Come down by Anderson Park. Oh, oh yeah, oh, such a good nice. Song. Yeah. Um, I probably go G6. <laughs> that always gets you me. Would. Clems in Newtown. Right, Chicken shop. I went through a phase of making scones while I was drunk. That's great. Yeah. That's so yeah, good. It was so really good. nice. I feel like it absorbed gonna, alcohol. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna do you that. Know? We just got back from LA and we used to always order a full seafood crab boil. Mm. Really? From after a night out. It was actually disgusting. Like, I don't what? know why. We did that, but we come home with this huge inner bag, crab legs and stuff. Yep. Saray, Newtown. Oh, nice. Ooh. Best kebabs in the inner west, yeah, hands nice. down. I'm, I'm Maccas, I'm just simple. You just need a big Mac. I need something yeah, to soak yeah, up sure. everything. If I'm feeling adventurous, maybe a couple nuggets. Oh, adventurous? <laughs> yeah, dude. Nuggets is my like go-to. But a, just a big meal. Just a big feed. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. I'll, yeah, that's me. Bye. So like obviously the creative field, as young actors, you'll know that it's a bit unstable, it's a bit volatile. So seeing yourself being cast in a Netflix show, do you feel like you have a sense of new validity when talking to new family members? Or do you think the struggle is still there and you just have that innate ambition to just keep going still? Look, it, it feels good being able to say that you've got something coming out. It feels really good as an actor to be valid, 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 validated. Validated. <laughs> validated. Validified. Validified like that. Um, but that being said, it's just like, it's crazy how easily you can just still fall back into the pattern of being like, what's next? 
Oh like, yeah, hundred percent. Even though yeah. like you're kicking a goal, it's yeah. still like this could be the last one. Yeah, it's still Who a bad knows? one at the end of the yeah. day. You know, sure. you can start sprinting when you get a job, but you still have to take into consideration that things happen after that job. Yeah, right? yeah. I feel like you just have to not care the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. So, just quickly off that, your advice for any young Australian actors? Just keep trying. Just keep trying. Keep don't it. let anyone tell you what the industry looks for and what they don't, because the industry is fluid and it's mm. forever changing, you know? Um, especially if you're a music, music theatre person. I'm music theatre trained and I was told not to go into film because apparently we're too much and too much energy and stuff. But... So many musical theatre people on this show. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Most of the main cast are from music theatre. Yeah. yeah. Um, Brent, I just wanted to know personally, mm. what makes scooters better than skateboards? <laughs> 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 the handlebars. For sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's one on a billboard on... That is the street that I'm moving into. Oh wow. Yeah. You just gave your address to the whole world. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, actually maybe that one... What probably... street number? <laughs> no, yeah, that, that probably wasn't a good idea.